Hey, welcome to another video on PHP section two in our semester. We're going to create an app in this video that simulates a car. So the point is we're learning object-oriented programming and we're going to create a car class and have some methods that can put tires on and start the car and put pr pressure in the tires. So let's take a look at what the uh, results are. So the um, the messages that we get on the screen here are the results of our classes. It says, I'm going to start my car. I'm in our constructor and I'm creating an instance of the car. It says, you've added four tires. You've inflated the tires to 40 PSI. You've installed an engine. And then it tried to uh, install another engine. And it says, you've already got one. And then we finally start the car and it tells me the color. So here are the requirements for the assignment. So you're going to have to get a copy of this document to see what we're doing. It says, in this activity, you'll be given a set of functional requirements for a race car. So then you'll design the model and implement the game. So here's what you do. The requirements. Your car, a fully functional car, will have an engine and tires. Uh, the car will have four end tires. And then you'll have one engine. A, the engine must be able to be started and stopped. So these three up here are properties that we're going to create and the engine starting and stopping is a method so it says before the engine can be started all tires must have 32 pounds so we must have to have a method to inflate the tires so the car must be able to be started and it can go up to 60 miles an hour you can also stop it and restart it so when you look through these requirements here let's take a look at where all of the nouns are so we've got engine, tires. Let's look at the verbs. Start, stop. Uh, it's, 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 it says here it must have. So we don't have a, an inflate command, but it looks to me like there's a tire pressure noun here. So we can have a, a property on the tires. Uh, here we go. Started, uh, running, stopped. So that's the requirements. Now the modeling here, it says uh, you're going to have to do your own object-oriented analysis. So sit down and draw out what we might look like uh, for a car. So then down here in the modeling section, it says here, create a UML class diagram of your complete model. So we'll use a video tutorial to introduce us to UML diagramming, and then we'll make our own. Then finally, after we're all finished with that, we're going to do the implementation. So we'll do the coding. So we have the rules for start, run, stop, and restart. So similar to our person script that we just wrote in the last video, we're going to create a car object and then a car driver object, so maybe called car tester. So I'm going to point you to another video that would be a demonstration for a program for diagrams. Uh, it's called Lucid Chart. And then I'm going to demonstrate the actual implementation of this assignment using that tool. So I'll be right back after this next video.